helper here. Her name is Regan. She just pointed on that I'm not pointed out that I'm not wearing socks. So no secrets today. Uh, example number two here. We're gonna do this in degrees. It's gonna be a little weird. <laughs> um, and I'll explain why in like two minutes. But uh, degrees, it is. So. Um, the first thing I need to do before I start working with this is I need to pull that five out. So I just have X plus or minus something. Um, the only way to find the period and to apply the correct horizontal shift is to have X by itself. So I will factor a five out of three and that just means Three over five. <laughs> so there you go. Now that I've done this, I can start working from right to left in an effort to set up the graph. So that plus two, as you all know, is a vertical shift up two. And then inside the parentheses, minus means right. So positive. And three fifths would be the movement I made. Three fifths degrees. So we moved right barely nothing, right? Only three fifths, but that's okay. All right, so now I'm gonna take that five and I'm going to find the period with it. Remember to find the period, you divide that number out of 360 or out of two pi if you're in uh, radians. So there you have it, 72 degrees is my period. Now, I want to use that period to help me chunk my graph up into fourths. So I'm going to take 72 and divide it into fourths. And when I do that, I get 18 degrees. So I'm going to count by 18 degree chunks. Okay. So let's go ahead and draw some dotted lines here uh, and then up two let's see i'm counting by sixes so am i gonna actually make that one tick mark so okay i'm being a little strategic here and you'll see why in a second so my graph shifted up two that was my vertical shift so that's going to be two that's going to be four that's going to be six that's going to be eight this is zero negative two negative four and that should be enough uh, my amplitude is six, so I'm thinking ahead in that. Uh, and then that dotted line that goes up and down is shifted to the right three-fifths. That is three-fifths. And then from here, I'm counting by 18s. Remember, my period was 72, split 72 into fourths, and you get 18. So yes, my graph will start right three-fifths, and then it will go up in increments of 18. So I have 18 and three-fifths. Let's make that look a little bit more like a three. 18 and three-fifths. Uh, here I would have, uh, let's see, 18, then 36 and three-fifths. Uh, add 18 again, and we get 54 and three-fifths. At 18, one more time, and we get 72, my period, um, but three-fifths. <laughs> so I'm counting by 18s, but I wasn't starting at zero. I was starting at three-fifths. So this is the part that I said was a little awkward, but I don't think it's overly complicated. It's just like, seriously, we really have to do that? Yes, you do. Uh, perfect. So now we're going to go and graph this, acknowledging that we have an amplitude change, amplitude change of six. So this is the sine curve. Sine starts at zero, but remember my blue dotted lines are my um, reference points for where to start and how high and low to go. So I'm going to start here at zero. Uh, and then at the first quarter mark, it's going to reach a high point that is six higher than where you start. It's going to go back through zero, which, yes, happens to be at two in this case, but that's okay. It's going to go down to a low point, six lower than that line, the dotted line, and it's going to go back up to a zero there. 
So my graph is up, down, up. Um, and today I'm okay if you just graph one period of it like that, as long as you have five uh, numbers labeled on your horizontal axis, you're fine. Cool, so that one was a little less clunky than the last one. Um, like I said, I can make some videos from the homework if you're not seeing any and you're um, desiring further explanation to shoot me an email today uh, and I can expedite a video going over an example that you want specifically. Um, so email me with questions. You guys are awesome. I hope you're doing well. We will um, see you someday soon.